morning connections it's friday october 28th 22. i pray you're doing well i pray that you will find a deeper relationship with god and that you will join me on this journey it's worthwhile and you're much needed so let's get started been talking all week about provision and how God tests our hearts, tests our commitment, not out of punishment, but out of a desire to see us improve and continue to move forward. We've talked about numerous areas that we can get hung up when we decide to not include God. Today we want to look at Stability. For including God in all things, whether it's finances, our wants and our needs, or just how we find firm ground, footing, stability. I had a great illustration that actually recorded half the message talking about vehicle suspension and how it keeps the vehicle anchored to the ground. But I want to talk more in the time that we have in my desire, God's desire, to see you find stability. Connections Church has been a church since 2011, and we've had the, the privilege of serving hundreds over those years. It's been an honor to serve shoulder to shoulder with many people through those years. We continue to grow through 2018, 2019, to where the small chapel that we were meeting in no longer fit our needs. We were a church of over 100. We were expecting the new building to be completed and easy transition and then the pandemic occurred and we became a much smaller church again one of the casualties of the pandemic has been our leadership team we've lost many leaders through the years and each and every one of them is painful there has to be at least a dozen or more now of brothers and sisters that came into relationship with Connections Church and helped us move forward. And each time they departed, it left a wound and a hole in the ministry It was difficult to fill. Over the past four months, we've lost three of our leaders. We are down to the smallest leadership team, and I have said that as each of them has left, that we've ever had before. We have the facility or on the, the brink of having a facility that will serve three, 400 people. And yet I have half a dozen people willing to serve at my side. What 
what continues to to steal the very people that God desires to see in those leadership positions is the inability to find stability. The most important aspect of leadership is firm footing to where we could support our brothers and sisters on either side of us. And it is something that has sadly lacked at Connections Church. So as we talk about allowing God into our hearts and allowing God to test where we are, I'm praying that today he will test your footing. And I pray that you will find yourself becoming more stable. The words that I share in the intro of each video, is it, they're not just words. You are much needed. And many more just like you who are pursuing God and desire to commit fully to a relationship with him are needed. Because what we have experienced up until this point has been people who have, have come in, added to the ministry, and left. And left holes and gaps and heartache. If this is where God has me to serve for the rest of my days, then I will serve with joy. And if the ministry continues to grow and then subside and grow again, and I'm only given an opportunity to speak truth into people's lives for a short amount of time before they depart, I'm okay with that. But I believe that God desires to do something more in us and through us. I, des I believe that God desires to bring stability through our relationships with him. And I believe we will be equipped to reach a much larger group and see their lives transformed. Right now, I only have a few partners that believe that as well and I'm desperately seeking more. So I'm asking that you pray with me today that God would bring increase and it would start in you. Whatever is, is pulling you away from fully committing to God, that you would be broken free from that today. And you'd be unafraid to take your position in the body of Christ and help move the church forward. Stability is found in God and nowhere else. And that's what the psalmist in Psalm 23 was relating. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. 
Surely your goodness and your unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. That's the stability that I desire. And that's the stability I desire for you. As heartbreaking as it is to have someone leave our fellowship, it's even more heartbreaking knowing their potential and knowing how close they were to achieving it. In addition to people leaving the fellowship, we've suffered tremendous loss in the same time period of multiple people that didn't get an opportunity to return to our fellowship because they passed away. That's the worst type of heartbreak. Because I hold out hope and I know that God holds a spot for each and every person that has ever passed through connections. They will find their home once again with us. Unless death intervenes and denies that opportunity. It's just yet another reminder that we are not promised tomorrow and need to make decisions today that will set us in the right place no matter what comes next. Do not put off finding stability, entering a fully committed relationship with God, and taking your proper place in the body of Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Our hearts are heavy today, Lord, for those that we've lost. We've been in ministry for a number of years. We've seen great victories. We've seen miracles. But we've suffered a tremendous amount of loss, Lord. You comfort us. You continue to encourage us forward. We adapt and keep our eyes upon you through every challenge. But we're tired of losing, Lord. We feel your pain. Know that you've been tired of losing for a very, very long time. We desire to see revival in the hearts of man. And not just for a moment or a season, but for a lifetime. We desire to see lasting change that carries with us into eternity. And we know that your heart, your desire is the same. Position us today, Lord. Help us be ready to receive those that you send our direction. May we see increase for your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Have a wonderful Friday. Continue to pursue God with everything that you are. Know that I love you and I miss you. Till we see each other again, please. 
be good.